Hi friends, this is Shoma from Artbug India. Hope you are having a great time. Today I am going to show you, I made these frames out of this wonderful punch by We Are Memory Keepers. And uh, till now, whatever video I have seen, I have noticed that they make only small frames out of these. But I have tried a few things and experimented and I got some bigger sizes as well. And I ended up making quite a few shaker cards. This is one of them uh, to be used for another project of mine. And uh, I'll just show you how you can make bigger frames out of this with the uh, help of another scale and uh, how the things go. I'll just tell you. I've already cut papers of different sizes and length. Now I'll just show you step by step it's a very easy punch and uh, does not require a lot of uh, you know understanding for this it rounds up your uh, edges like if you have uh, a square paper and you want the corners to be rounded you could just round it up the first uh, bar the first uh, node that we see is the corner rounder uh, the punch is very nicely planned and you know every step is very clearly mentioned so you don't really have to uh, you know worry about how to go about and uh, you know what to do once you have the punch it's very clearly mentioned and there's nothing that you need to you know get panic struck and seeing these if they at all you know come out and if you end up putting it the other way uh, nothing happens I mean basically how you need to put there's a L mark written for the left side there's an R written for the right side, so there's no way you can ever go wrong with these. Um, I'll start with uh, the first node, which is the corner rounder, just to show how things work. So every time you put the paper, one thing I've noticed, if in case your paper is even little off, then you will not get a proper cut at all. So you have to make sure that your paper is properly cut. The second is if you don't put the paper inside properly like right now I did not put it properly it will not cut properly you will get a crooked end so you have to put the paper in just wobble a little just to make sure that it's gone properly and then all you need to do is just punch and there you go you get a clean smooth punch so every time you put the paper in just make sure that you have put the paper properly now we get this beautiful rounded corners now I'll show you how to get a proper small size the smallest size which is 0.25 or a quarter inch uh, frame around the paper now what I've done is the second node is 0.25 the third node is 0.5 and you can go up till point, uh, 1 inch for the frame now this is the distance that you can make your frame in what all you need to do is just put in case if you want all the four sides to be 0 0.5 0 0.25 then after putting the nodes just start putting the paper and punch it all around see now all the sides are 0.25 in length now what I'll do is I'll just trim it off and show you how it goes when you're putting there's this round thing the round thing goes in this uh, channel and the blade has to be on the outer side and every time you're putting it just make sure that you don't you, there's nothing that you need to force the blade in and you know cut it you just need to be a little soft the minute the blade fits in the groove it will just slide out so in case if you feel that you know your blade is not in the groove just open this slit and just check if the groove is in the uh, your paper is properly kept or not even if the paper is like this the blade will not go in this groove which is important for the paper to trim properly now all you need to do is just there you go. smooth cut so I'll just cut it and show you
now one more thing i have noticed is there are times that your paper won't go inside and uh, you know there's a gap in between so all you need to do is just loosen this up and you know pull it a little up so that the paper can go and fit in the groove and then all you need to do is just Here's my frame punch. This is 0.25. I'll show you the other size, which is a Polaroid size. I would show you the bigger size uh, Polaroid on an A4 sheet. Now the measurements here that I've taken is one inches from the right side and 0.75 from the left side, so that I get a uh, slightly bigger frame and slightly bigger Polaroid. I'll uh, first show you it uh, on a smaller frame and then show you the same thing to be done on a bigger paper. So for a Polaroid, you need to punch once on one side and then just turn the paper and do this. So the, the reason why we do this is that we get the one inch on one side and then you can go about and fix the other one on 75 and get the same distance as 0.75 from all the sides so now this side this side this side that is the three sides is 0.75 and the base is one inches now i'll just uh, you can uh, you know there's one more good thing is that in case if you're not comfortable cutting with this uh, which most of the time i you know eyeball and i tend to cut it I prefer using the knife and my craft mat and all you need to do is just match the edges and cut it. So even like this if you're you know initially if you think that uh, your frame might just get spoiled and you don't want it to get spoiled at all so you could just corner and like this. But always make sure that your blade when every time you put the blade your blade has to be absolutely in the corner if you miss out the corner then you will not get you'll get a crooked little crooked edges like this so if you want to avoid that you have to make sure that you're always cutting from one corner to the other don't try to pull otherwise you'll get a it end which we don't want now here's the frame so now if you see and measure this is about one inches and this is 0.75 I hope you can see I'm sorry about the bad lighting here now I'll show you the same thing in a bigger paper now whatever size you want frame you can just go ahead and do the punch is a real help for this and all you need to do is now I will again make a Polaroid which is uh, or rather I can make a frame which is one inches from all the sides so I'll, all I would start doing it like this is I will put the tabs on one inch on left and one inch on right and then go ahead and this time I don't have to turn the paper because I want all the sides to be the same you only turn the paper if you want two side, one side of the paper to be different so now this is the tabs that we get now all you need to do is just take your scale and just match the corners As I said, every time you make sure that you match the corners, that's very important.
so you got little missed out so all I need to do is just grab on to my scissors and trim this off and you won't even come to know so this is my A4 size frame that I made with my punch and a help of a, a ruler so like this in case if you want you can make any size of frame of your you know required length and breadth and uh, I think you can go for even a A2 size or a bigger sheet but then I don't think we require such a big frame A4 is decent enough for our work so this is how the punch works with us I hope you had a uh, I hope this video helps you out and um, I had a great time thank you